Hi guys, Lala here. So you know how they tell you that if you want to get over someone, you need to get under someone else. Well, story time. So I think it was back in 2018 and I'd just gotten, I'd just broken up with this guy that I was madly, madly in love with. So uh, sometimes when I'd sit and think about him, I'd realize that, you know what, I actually miss the eggplant session. So I was like, you know what, let me just apply the get under someone to get over someone so there's this guy that i used to skate with he was fine you know all of these guys that you never look at like that but you know that you know that they look good but it's just that you're in a relationship and you don't want to mess around so yeah so i reached out to the guy every time after we skate he would always tell me like ah so we go so we go home i go make you dinner i'd always reject so this specific sunday i went there i was in a dress I knew what I was going for. So when you got to town after he finished skating because I did not, then he was like, ah, so you go home, I go make you dinner. And I was like, yeah, let's go. He was like, you're serious? Twende. Kaka was like, yeah, let's go. So we went to his, we got to his place. He made dinner. We had dinner, watched a few movies. So in the process, um, I wanted to like change into something more comfortable. So I asked him to give me something to change into. He gave me a matching tea with sweatpants. So I went to change and when I changed, I didn't put on the sweatpants because again, like I've told you, I was trying to get under someone. So um, I just put on the tea. I went back to the living room. Uh, we watched a few other movies, played a few games. Nini nini. Then I got sleepy. So I told him, um, I'm very sleepy. Let me go to bed. So he said, it's fine. He's finishing up a few things and he's going to come and join me. So I went to bed. The guy came back later after I'd fallen asleep. You know how you spend, you sleep with someone on the same bed, especially a guy. And then, kunakonga na those what they call accidental touches. As much as you know, they're not accidental. So yeah, this guy did not, <laughs> even by mistake, touch me at all. The whole night I slept like a, like a baby. No touch at all. I even forgot that I was sleeping next to someone. So I woke up in the morning. Uh, he made me breakfast, bought me, brought me breakfast in bed. I was like, okay, uh, definitely he's gonna get some so he did not touch me the whole night and i was like okay fine he was just being respectful which is something that i also appreciate so okay so during the day he told me that he has to rush out he needs to run a few errands then he'll come back so he left so as he was gonna just like strategizing trying to look at how do i get this man to like to do it without actually seeming you know the impression that people get that when a lady makes a move, like you just wanted the eggplant like, session. So I was just scheming, thinking of how do I get him to do it? So by the time he came back, I already had the perfect plan in mind. So, okay, I've seen that this is not enough for that. So let me post part two right now. Hi guys, this is Lela. So this is part two. Hope you've watched part one. So by the time this guy came back, um, I'd already came up with a, with a very good plan that I was sure was going to work. So we had lunch, then kidogo kidogo, he had cards. So I was like, so we play cards? He said, fine. We played cards for like free ball for some time. Then I said, how about you make it a little bit interesting? He said, okay, we play for cash. So he asked if we play for cash. I was like, yeah, why not? So I played for cash. Then I told him, okay, how about we make it like more interesting? How about if you lose, you take, you have to take off something. So do you see where I was going with this? Cause I was just, I was tired of hinting and like waiting for this guy to make a move because I think he was just, he was just being respectful, which is nice, but that I did not go there to be respected. So I told him, if you lose, then you take off something. If I lose, I take off something. So at this point I was wearing uh, the sweatpants that he had given me in the morning. I had some socks on and a tissue. So uh, we played and I realized that he was losing a lot. <laughs> He was not very, very good at playing cards. So I intentionally started losing. So I could also like be a part of this game and like take off something. Come on. So we played and then it got to a time when I was almost, almost completely bare. He had his boxes on. So uh, he shifted from where he was seated, came to where I was seated. Kidogo, kidogo. So I was like, yeah, it's about to go down. It's a, this is happening. It is happening and it's happening now. So he shifted, came to where I was seated. Nini, nini, we started making like eye contacts, what, 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 telling me I look good and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, ah, oh, he finally gets it. He finally gets it. Then when he like went to make the move, I just realized, you know, <laughs> I started wishing that this guy was my ex. Because in my head, I was like, by this time, by this time, we would have gone to Mombasa and back. By this time, I would not even have had to like, I don't, I did not need to give you a hint. I did not get, need to like give him a hint. I would just look at him like this. 
and he knows it should go down so when he just like especially when he came to sit next to me that's when i realized you know what this is definitely not going to work it's not going to happen because i look at him and i start wishing that you know what i wish it was him because he would have done a few things differently so i started wishing and thinking that it was him and blah 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 so i was just like you know what i have just remember i need to run some errands for my mom and i'd forgotten about that so let me just rush out so i just dressed up real quick and i left i kid you not this guy the next time aliniona u alinitukana my goodness and then nilimona the next time kama amelewa and i was with another guy who he called me names what <laughs> but i don't blame him so i don't know if it works for other people but it did not work for me i could not get under someone to get over someone so stay smart with lala all right first of all i want to say sorry for the long intro there you know she had a long story to tell good what like six minutes maybe something like that but anyway y'all see how these women love to play game that's the first thing they say when they get say, i don't play no games i ain't for all that you know i'm a woman blah 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 i, I don't i ain't no kid i don't play games you know all that bullshit they love to say but you see how they love to play games she got a guy that respected her did not try to make a move and she tried everything she could to try to get him to make a move. When he figured it out, she said, when he figured it out, uh, nah, I'm going to go back to my ex. So she wants to be disrespected. She meet this guy. He's a gentleman. He didn't touch her all night long. They slept in the bed. She wanted him to make a move. He didn't. Perfect gentleman. You see? Words out of her own mouth. Y'all see this? Yeah. See, that's proof of what us men be trying to say. Y'all women don't want a good man. Y'all women want a man that's going to disrespect you. That's all, Those are the men y'all go after. See, some women are finally starting to come out and admit that's what they wanted. But you still got those that won't admit it. This woman right here. See how she played games? She tried to get him to make the first move to have sex. He didn't touch her. He was a respectable man. Didn't touch her. According to her, she put on some sexy clothes to get him going. Laid in the bed. He said, she said he didn't touch her all night. So the next day, they wanted to play some kind of, she wanted to play some kind of game. And, 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 and to get him to take his clothes off, she take her clothes off and they get going. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, y'all see. But y'all love to say only men do stuff like this, huh? Nah, nah. Y'all women always play those games. Y'all don't want to make the first move. You want him to make the first move. So what you'll do, you'll give all these hints, all these choosing signals for him to make the first move. I thank God my wife is not like that. I thank God my wife, if she wants something, oh, she's going to open her mouth and go get it. Thank God. Because I think women that do that crap, y'all are ridiculous. All of y'all. My wife, she said, man, I ain't got time for that. If I want something, I'm finna go get it. Thank you. I'm not a fucking mind reader. Now, if I touch you, try to get something going because you're turning me on, now she gonna be, now, because he made the first move, she gonna say, all right, he must have wanted it because he didn't want to start touching on me, blah, blah, blah. When it's you that's throwing those signals out there, but you finally got a respectable man in this guy. And you leave him to go back to your ex. I ain't got nothing else to say. This prove this prove all men's points right here that y'all don't want a good man. Y'all want them sorry ass men that will mistreat you. That's what y'all want.